Out of all the instruments within Thor, Thor is the only instrument with its own sequencer. What's a sequencer? A sequencer is essentially a device that triggers notes and other parameters in a particular order or sequence. It's a lot like a matrix within Reason, where you set it up and it will quickly play notes in a particular fashion over and over again. Let me play a subtractor with a matrix. Now, I'll set up a pattern within Thor. In fact, to do this, I'll just use the Thor's randomize function to randomly generate a pattern by right-clicking and selecting Randomize Pattern. Let's listen. But notice, there's a big difference between the Matrix and Thor. The Matrix allows you to draw notes in. Thor doesn't have this. How do you know what notes you're programming? Well, you use the knobs above these little red lights. While I'm on the note setting, I'll turn my first knob and it tells me what key I'll play. Look. Turn each knob to the note you want within your sequence. If you don't want a particular step to play a note, or you, don't, or you want to rest, Disable the red light in the note that you don't want, like this. I'll go ahead and make a pattern now. Turn a knob, or two, and kill notes that I don't want. Now, I'll take a listen. Also, I can go into velocity mode and choose how loud each note will play. This makes it much more realistic and makes my rhythm more intricate as well. I can also go into the gate length and make certain notes seem much more sustained or choppy. Let's try it now. Finally, I can make my steps play longer using the step duration function. This is great for creating cool ties, thus making your Thor pattern much more, what, groovy? I'll show you now. See how it pauses the note? Imagine the possibilities. You'll also notice two more edit modes, Curve 1 and 2. These I will demonstrate in the next video. See you there.